and welcome back to Orange Dog Gaming, where today I will be showing you my recreation of the SpaceX Starship. So, Starship is a large rocket, which is going to soon be the biggest one ever made. And this is my recreation of it in Kerbal Space Program. So the rocket can hold up to four crew members and is very, very large and can easily achieve orbit. So let's get right to the launch. The Starship rocket in my recreation has two stages. Sadly, unlike the real rocket, the bottom stage won't be recovered. It, in the Kerbal Space Program, you can't really do that, so it will just crash onto the planet. When you're flying this craft, you need to keep it very straight at the start of launch, and then as you get higher, about entering the third atmosphere layer, you should probably start to turn over towards the sea as it was more fuel efficient to prepare for orbit. So we are now about 45,000 meters, well, 4, 000, 5, 5,500, now 6,000 meters above the surface of the planet, which in Kerbal Space Program is known as Kerbin. For the engines, this rocket uses the Vector engine as its main booster stage, which propels it upward, which I think makes a lovely noise. So here we go, the first stage has run out, so now we decouple from the lower stage and start up the next set of boosters. So just slowly so we can get our position correctly, we're going to tilt the rocket towards the ocean as this moves with turbine's rotation making it more fuel efficient. As we launch, you can appreciate the views of the Starship rocket recreation. Just below us, you can now see the Kerbal Space Center. And on this island right here, which is just along the side of the rocket now, you can see the island airfield. Which, if you don't have the Making History DLC, you will not be able to access. Though it will still be in, in your game, you can fly over to it. While flying this rocket, you will want to pull the map once in a while just to check on the orbit, because otherwise you will Otherwise, you may not get to the stable orbit. So here we're going to go. have to go a bit higher as we're starting to fall down a bit. As you can probably see by the giant field of heat and all the re-entry burning coming off the rocket. Though do not panic as this is perfectly safe. Well, we have nothing really to say about our inclination here, apart from the fact that we have achieved a very, very large orbit. Did you know that 
the actual starship will be fully reusable and will be the most powerful launch vehicle ever built. Sadly, that is probably not at all the case for this rocket. It's probably going to be one of the medium lift vehicles ever and not really useful at all. Because like I said, this is just a recreation and modelled off the Starship and it's not actually it. This is just a recreation in Kerbal Space Program where you can't actually recover things. So you can see here that the, build, it, the rocket is made up of a fairing piece, which is the silver variant, as you can see here, and has all its fuel tanks inside. And I've used a little cheat here, where you've got your large fuel tank, and then you've got all your internal ones, which then give fuel there we go, see, they give out fuel from inside using the fuel pipes. And we've got some struts here. As the first few prototypes, if you launched it with the big booster at the bottom, it would shake itself apart pretty much. So here we can see this star orbit. And that was my SpaceX Starship recreation in Kerbal Space Program. So we did achieve orbit in the end. A very high one, in fact. Which this pr proper Starship will probably be able to do even better. This was my recreation of the SpaceX Starship. This will never be as good as a real one, but it's the closest thing you can get in Kerbal Space Program. So if you if you enjoyed the video and want to see more recreation videos, give it a like. And if you want, and if you want to help out the channel, you can subscribe as well if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.